Hello everybody and welcome back to The Glitter Enthusiast. Today's video is kind of special because it's gonna be like a one year anniversary type video slash stream of consciousness where I'm just gonna talk about my experiences in the past year because it's been almost, well it's been over a year since I've moved to California, Southern California, San Diego. So I'm just gonna talk about uh, my experience kind of and what I've learned in the last year, how I've grown, what's changed, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get right into it. The past 12 months have been a whirlwind. I can't believe they've gone by so fast. I can't believe it's been a year since I've moved here. I feel like I just moved here. But it's been a crazy adventure. There have been a lot of potholes, a lot of speed bumps, but I feel like I learned from them and I've grown a lot in the past year. I feel like I've become more confident because I've had to go out and do things alone all by myself. I've had to go to events all by myself and get out of the car. That is the worst part, I feel like, of doing things alone is when you get out of the car and you're walking into an event and everyone's with their friends and you're all alone and you're like, and you have to like sit by yourself and you have to see where to sit and like where it's not gonna be weird and then you have to approach people and like try and make friends. That's so uncomfortable, but I feel like I've had to do that so much in the past year that I've become more confident. That does not mean I'm a confident person whatsoever, but it means I've become more confident than I was before, so that's good. And I feel like it's been a year of a lot of firsts. I mean, I graduated college for the first time, <laughs> had my first car, I got my first car, I had my first apartment and now I'm in my second apartment. I bought my first pet, which is, I know in life, like we've had lots of pets, my family has had lots of pets, and in life your parents will say, this is your cat, like this is Jane's cat or Jane's dog. But if they're paying the bills and they're the ones who take care of it and stuff, it's not technically your cat. I mean, you might take care of it, but if they're like paying the bills and paying for the vet and buying the food and it's their house. It's technically their pet, at least in my mind. You don't have to agree with that, but in my mind that's how it is. Now I have my cat, who I pay the bills for. She's registered under my name. I'm the one who takes her to the doctors and the nurse and the vet. The nurse. <laughs> the vet. The doctor for pets is called a vet. A lot of firsts have happened and it's been crazy. I got my first full-time job and it's been a crazy year. It's been a year of new experiences, but I feel like I've learned from all of them. I feel like I've grown as a person independently. I feel like I've always been pretty independent, but this has kind of forced me to be even more independent because I moved here not knowing anyone in California whatsoever. And so I feel like I've become more independent and I've become wiser also because I learned how to set up internet at your apartment. I've learned how to find an apartment. I've learned how to find a roommate. I've learned how to set up electricity, all that kind of stuff that like your parents do for you when you're growing up and are just done for you in college. I learned to do all those things myself without my parents here. I had to buy all my own furniture and mount some of my own furniture, so I feel like it's been one of those years. And I feel like 2016 was not the best year for anyone, <laughs> and it really wasn't fantastic, but I feel like as a person I have learned a lot about other people and I've kind of broadened my perspective and my worldview and my ideas about the world and about the United States and I formed a lot of different opinions and I feel like now I'm more centered on who I am and what I want from life and what my goals are and so I feel like this past year has been a year of change and a year of learning and a year of firsts and a year of experiences but it's been pretty good and I've learned that I do really like living in California it's fantastic it's got great weather, it's got great beaches, it's got beautiful palm trees, it's got a lot to do, and I really like my life here, and I wouldn't say I regret anything in the past year, at least I don't think I do. I hope I don't. It's been a year of growth, and it's been a year of change, and it's been a good year, I think, but I hope next year is better. And 
and yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. Sorry I just talked about myself for the entirety of it, but I hope you guys can like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Please comment what kind of videos you want us to make, especially if they're about California, because I know you guys like those. Um, and I hope that you guys have had a good year in the past, and I hope that your next year is even better than the last, even though it's the middle of the year still, the next 12 months. I hope they're fantastic. So please subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!